Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with what is essentially a Bath and Body Works and White Barn wax and candle empties for the month of August 2021. Um, so I'm kind of late on this, I guess, this month. I've been a little bit caught up with work and like other stuff on my channel, so um, sorry about it, but I figured kind of better late than never, so I'm just going to, yeah, jump right into what I've got. Um, like I said, it's pretty much just all Bath and Body Works and White Barn, but I'm gonna start with the one thing that I used up during the month of August that isn't from Bath and Body Works and then yeah, that'll be it. Okay, so the only thing I used up in August that isn't from Bath and Body Works is one of my Yankee Candles single melt um, or wax melt single, I guess, and Cafe El Fresco. As you guys know from my channel, this is one of my favorites from Yankee. It is very much so a sweet, like almost like caramely or syrupy kind of cappuccino scent and I like it. So I have a couple more of these and I will continue to use them up. So my melting has been non-existent lately because the bulb in my warmer burned out and I ordered new ones, but they're like weirdly taking forever. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, so I literally have not been melting for like a week. Um, so I've been burning, but not melting. So that's why, you know, for part of August, because when I like wasn't home because I went back to work, but also like now I haven't melted anything. So this is my one little like measly thing from the month of July that I melted. Okay, so now let's get into all my Bath & Body Works and White Barn. I'll get into my Bath & Body Works first. I used up a three-wick candle in Pink Apple Punch. I purchased this from the Summer SAS, but this particular packaging is from the Spring Transition from earlier this year. The keynotes are Crisp Apple, Sun-Kissed Melon, and Sugar Crystals. And it smells a little bit burnt now, but oh, I love Pink Apple Punch. So it is a little bit synthetic. Like I do understand why some people complain that it smells a little bit fake, but I like it. I'm a Pink Lady Apple person. It's my favorite kind of apple. Um, and so I always love to get these. To me, they smell very bright and fun and kind of zingy and nice for spring and summertime. So um, yeah, I would definitely repurchase these. I would love to see this come back for candle day and I would really like to pick up a couple during candle day. So we'll see what happens, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'll see Pink Apple Punch at candle day again like we did last year. So speaking of which, I, I may or may not buy any more candles between now and candle day. We'll see what happens, but for the most part, I'm pretty solid on fall. There are um, a couple other candles I haven't gotten for fall so far that I would like to get, like autumn. I haven't picked that up yet. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty solid with all my fall candles. So we'll see what happens with any candle buying between now and candle day. Okay, but I digress. So the next Bath & Body Works candle that I used up is also one from Spring Transition or Springtime, I guess, and Sweet Mint Julep. I wound up picking this up because I was intrigued by the scent and I wound up keeping it because my husband liked it. So I didn't really care for it on cold. It was a little intense for me. Um, the keynotes are crushed rosemary mint, splash of bourbon, sweet vanilla simple syrup. To me, it smelled definitely boozy. Like I definitely got like a spiced kind of bourbon scent from it. And it did also smell kind of minty or like herbal. Um, so as it was burning, I thought it was all right. Like I wouldn't repurchase it just because ultimately I didn't really care for it. I just burned it, like I said, because my husband really liked it. Um, but yeah, if you're into bourbon fragrances, if you're into boozy fragrances, I would recommend it. I just didn't really care for the um, like mix of that herb plus bourbon. It was kind of odd to me and just didn't really come off right. While I was burning it, it was okay, just because it wasn't really that strong. It was like maybe like a medium, but I love a big, like strong candle. This one was all right. Um, so yeah, like I'm not horrified by it per se, but I definitely would not uh, repurchase this. Okay, so the next two I have are from White Barn. The next one I used up is also from the springtime. This is my pink watermelon. So I don't know what happened between spring and summer, but I really like hit the brakes on burning. So I'm still burning up um, my spring and summer candles. So anyway, pink watermelon. The key notes are juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. To me, it just, I mean, it's kind of like icky and 
whatever. To me, it just kind of smells like the um, watermelon lip smackers lip gloss. So I don't know, it was very fake to me, but very enjoyable. And this scent was kind of nostalgic. So while I wouldn't hoard this, I would pick it up again next year if it did come back. The last candle that I used up is one of my classics from the White Barn Core. This is in Vanilla Bean. Key notes are Madagascar Vanilla Bean, homemade marshmallow, and fresh steamed milk. To me, it just smelled, yeah, like a vanilla candle. So I kind of wanted a vanilla bean candle because I don't know that I've ever actually had one before. I've always passed it up in favor of like, I don't know, other things and like seasonal stuff. But I picked one up just to burn it just whenever I wanted. So I decided to pull it and burn it. It was fine. It was about a medium throw, I'd say, medium strength. And yeah, so I would pick one up, but I'm not really like clamoring to go buy another one right this second. But in the future, I could see myself doing that again. All right, and I have two more things. This month, I coincidentally used up two different um, room sprays, which is unusual because it takes me forever to just use up one. But I had one in um, my guest bathroom, which is that door right there. And I also had one in my master bathroom too, and they just kind of happened to finish at pretty much the same time. So the first one they have is uh, strawberry pound cake. I don't think it has key notes, but yeah, it's just a strawberry pound cake that you know, we've seen before. This is from the beginning of 2020. It was made on the 59th day. So I've had this around for a while. It was just time to use it up. So um, I don't really clamor for room sprays. However, when I pick them up for cheap, I do enjoy them. And I do think that they're worth the money if you can get them on sale and if you actually like need one. So yeah, strawberry pound cake. I wouldn't pick it up for a while just because I don't need more room spray right now. But in general, in the future, I would pick it up again. And the last one I used up is my Rose Water and Ivy. Again, no key notes here, but it is just the same as the Rose Water and Ivy scent. This one's also from 2020, but it's toward the end of the year on the 308th day. So this one's a little bit newer. I picked this up, I wanna say maybe last fall um, because I was in the market for a room spray and I really enjoyed it. So I'm a big Rose Water and Ivy fan. I really love it. It smelled just like the other Rose Water and Ivy items that we've seen from Bath and Body Works so good and I loved it in my uh, guest bathroom. So I would repurchase it definitely. But like I said, I do have one room spray right now. I've got one in Berry Waffle Cone and I'm working through a couple of Yankee ones too. So while you will see me repurchase more room sprays in the future, again, it's not like, you know, shower gels where I just find that I really just like want to have them. I just kind of pick them up whenever I'm kind of in the market for one anyway. So overall, a pretty good month for um, home fragrance. You know, I like I said, I wouldn't repurchase the julep candle, but like whatever. The rest of it was really solid. Um, that's it, kind of short and sweet this month. Um, as always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.